Ali Baba and the Forty Thieves. There once lived a poor man named Ali Baba. One day, when Ali Baba was cutting wood, he heard the sound of horses approaching. <laughs> Being scared, he hid up in a nearby tree. One, two, three. Thirty-nine, forty. He counted forty people. They rode with swords in their hands, and they all looked tough. They were definitely thieves. The leader of the group went over to a large boulder. In a loud voice, he shouted, "Open sesame!" The large boulder magically split open, and the entrance to a cave appeared. All forty men went into the cave. The boulder closed behind them. Ali Baba's mouth hung open in surprise. Soon after, the thieves came out of the cave. Shut, Sesame! The leader shouted these words, and the boulder closed again. As soon as the thieves were gone, Ali Baba said the same words as the leader. Open sesame. Like before, the boulder split open. Ali Baba carefully walked into the cave. To his surprise, before him were piles and piles of gold. This must all be stolen. Ali Baba carried out as much gold as he could. As soon as Ali Baba returned home, he shut the door tight. Then he threw all the gold on the floor. Where did you get all this? Asked his wife. Shh! What if someone hears? Replied Ali Baba. He told his wife about what happened in the cave. I wonder how much this is worth. Said his wife. I will go and get some scales. She went to his brother Kasim's house to borrow some scales. Kasim's wife was surprised by Ali Baba's wife's request. She was curious why a poor man like Ali Baba needed to borrow their scales, and she put some oil on the scale to find out what they were weighing. What's this? It's gold. Your brother has become so rich he needs scales. Shouted Kasim's wife. That poor man. I must see for myself. Replied Kasim. Soon, Kasim found out where Ali Baba had got the gold. The next day, Kasim went into the secret cave and filled his bags with gold. Ha ha ha! Now I am the richest man in the whole country. But Kasim had forgotten the magic words to open the door. Open now! Open! Open! Oh, please open! Suddenly, the door opened. Who is this? You dare to touch our gold? Shouted the thieves. They quickly killed Kasim. It was late at night, and Kasim did not return home. Ali Baba went to the cave to find him. Kasim was lying dead on the floor. My brother has been killed by the thieves. Ali Baba arranged Kasim's funeral. He also took care of Kasim's family. When the thieves found out that Kasim's body was missing, they were angry. Someone else knows of our secret cave. Go and catch him now. One of the thieves went to the village. Excuse me. Was there a funeral recently? Yes, it was at that house over there. The thief put a sign on the front of Ali Baba's house. Ali Baba's servants saw what was happening. What kind of sign is this? This looks bad. This clever servant then put the same sign on all the other houses. As evening came, all the thieves went to the village. You fool! All the doors have the same sign on them. 
The leader killed the thief who drew the sign, and he killed another thief who did not follow his orders. This time, the leader went to the village himself. Finally, the leader of the thieves found Ali Baba's house. All the thieves hid in baskets carried by their horses, and just one basket was filled with oil. I'll give the sign by throwing a stone, and you can all come out," said the leader to his thieves. Pretending to be an oil salesman, the leader knocked on the door. If you let me sleep here one night, I will pay with oil. You are welcome to rest here," said Ali Baba, treating him kindly. He did not know that the salesman was the leader of the thieves. Prepare some food for our guests," said Ali Baba. The servant was about to start cooking, but she realized she was out of oil. I'd better get some oil from the basket. When she was near the baskets, the servant heard a voice. Leader, is it time yet? She was very surprised. She decided to fake the leader's voice. Wait a little longer. The servant began to boil oil. She then poured the hot oil into each basket. A little later, not knowing this, the leader threw stones toward the baskets. Why is it so quiet? He asked. The leader opened the baskets. What he saw made him so surprised, he ran away. The leader of the thieves had lost all his followers. When he thought about Ali Baba, he got angry. I will not let him get away with this. The leader found out that Ali Baba's son had a shop in the market. He dressed up as a salesman and met Ali Baba's son. He was invited to dinner at Ali Baba's house. A big dinner was prepared for the leader, but the leader told them he could not eat food with salt in it. Dinner was prepared again without salt. If you share salt, you can become friends. But if you do not share salt, as the servant set the food on the table, she noticed the leader's face. <gasps> That's the leader of the thieves. We were almost tricked. The servant got dressed up and said to Ali Baba and the leader, "I will show you a knife dance." The dance began gracefully, and then slowly got faster. Then she jumped toward the leader and stabbed him with the knife. <gasps> What are you doing? Ali Baba shouted in surprise. "Can't you see? The leader of the thieves has come to hurt you." Replied his servant. Ali Baba realized who the salesman really was. You have saved my life. Ali Baba had his son marry the clever servant. At the wedding, there were lots of music and dancing. The secret of the cave was kept, and Ali Baba's son and grandsons lived happily ever after.